Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, we are still on our search for the best fish and chips and today we've come to Lola's Fish and Chips here at Broad Beach. It's right opposite the Broad Beach Bowls Club. I was actually asked by one of my subscribers to come and try this, so here we are today. Let's go in, get one and suss out Lola's Fish and Chips. Okay, well, we have arrived at the beach. Just take a look at it. Oh, it looks nicer. Perfect place to eat some fish and chips. Anyway, here's the fish and chips. Let's take a look at it. Whoa, wow. How good does that look? All right, so this Lola's fish and chips is a piece of hokey and it costs $9.90. So it looks really nice. The batter looks so light and fluffy. It looks really, really nice and tasty. Although I've hardly even touched it and my fingers are just covered in grease already. So I don't know if that's gonna be a good sign or not. Let's hope so. Well, how about we start with some of the chips? And well, we got quite a few chips there. We've got a piece of lemon too, you little ripper. Don't know what this black thing is bit of burnt stuff. How about we try one of their chips? Oh, there's no seasoning. There's like no salt on it at all. Ah, that's disappointing. I didn't know that. They could really do with some salt, these chips. No cutlery either, so <laughs> it's, it's all going to be eaten by hand. Let's take a look inside here. This piece of hokey. Well, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, it's looking all right. Nice big flaky bits there. Let's see what this batter's like. Really soft and really light. It's really nice, the batter. Although, again, there's no seasoning on it. There's no salt, so it's it's kind of a bit tasteless and a bit bland, which is a very unfortunate. And my hands, look at them now. They're just like, can you see the grease on them? <laughs> They're just shiny. I wish my hair was that shiny. Wow. I'd be so much more handsome. Right, well, let's try this. That fish is okay. It's not the greatest, but uh, let's try it all together. Oh yeah. Wow. Really greasy, really oily, not much flavor, really needs some salt. I got some lemon here. How about we do the old lemon test? At least this might add some sort of flavor. Let's hope so. Get rid of that seed. I don't want to start growing a lemon tree inside my stomach. Hmm. <laughs> Tastes a lot better with a lemon, that's for sure. And on the chips. Hmm. Some of these fries are a bit undercooked too. I've come across a few that are pretty cold. So Lola's Fish and Chips here at Broad Beach. Well, you know, I was put onto it. Somebody said it's really, really good, but mate, it's, it's, it's okay, but it's, it's not great. It's really greasy. And because they haven't put any seasoning on anything, it's so bland. I just wish that, you know, they'd at least you know, attempted to put some salt on there or some pepper. They didn't tell me, they just handed us the bag and they didn't you know, give us any salt sachets or tell us there's no salt or anything. So unfortunately, the taste of this is kind of bland and it's uh, really greasy and for 10 bucks, you can do a lot better around the Gold Coast. And that's what I intend to do, try and find the best fish and chips. Have I found it today? 
Unfortunately, no, I haven't. I'm sure with some salt, it probably would have been heaps better, but it's not the greatest fish and chips. And would I come back again for this one? Maybe if I was in the area, I'd probably swing in. And if I do go back again, I'll tell you what, I'll be asking them to put some salt on there or something else so it's got some actual flavor. Anyway, there's Lola's fish and chips. What did you think about it? It looked good, but it just didn't perform which is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some fish and chips that really just makes me want to crave it and go back again and again. Unfortunately, this isn't the one. Anyway, that's today's fish and chip review. I hope it helps you out. And if you are in the area and you do go in, just tell them Greg sent you. That'll screw with them. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the review